Hey, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite and most underrated tools in Twinmotion to create what you might call like kind of a site plan animation where you're basically looking overhead and you're just slowly panning and you're, you're seeing really your whole site, your whole building, whatever you might want to look at, but as a nice panning animation. So we're going to look at that and how we can achieve that at a fully rendered view in a completely fully rendered nice animation okay before we get into it if at any point in this video you happen to learn something which please i hope you do that's why you're here right please demolish that like button it really helps me out very very much okay so let's get into it now what are we doing here well we basically want to get some sort of like a top view of this and so i'm i'm going to go and show you this we ha we can go to our top view here and we can see everything we want to see and we could we could make an animation with this this kind of a view and you while you can do that if you're okay with all these dark nasty black lines and dots you can do that and we're we can make an animation pretty easily i have another video on how to do an animation so go check that out but this is a bit different in that maybe we want to have this fully rendered like not looking like this terrible line drawing well so how do we do this well we will unfortunately not have the option of it being orthographic so it won't be like truly flattened to scale it will be perspective which is okay for what we're doing and depending on what you're working with and the size and everything it may not be that big of a deal so let's go back to our rendered view here and well how do we how, are we, how do we get to a top view well i mean you can simply just pan your camera down and like move somewhere like it, this is going to be hard to do but like this is essentially it but I want to show you a way that's maybe a little quicker and at least at least just as accurate, if not more accurate, which I prefer. And if you watched the previous video that I put out, I highly recommend using the camera align tool. And you can find that in the settings and camera because we want to use the camera align. So all that's doing again is going to align to a vertical face or well, not necessarily a vertical face, but any face that you decide to choose. If you if you want to look at this angled piece click on that angle and you can see what it looks like literally looking perpendicularly at that particular angle get it here and yeah it, it's working you know as I click on this curve we can move across you know it's working so how are we going to use this well if you know you have a flat surface which I have plenty here then we can simply align to a flat surface right you, you can make a primitive object a cube of anything and, and use that if you want or you can just simply click click the bottom there. And so what are we we're looking at here is simply a top view and it's kind of like it's essentially what we were doing before with like manually moving the camera and then moving up, but what this is allowing you to do is just get there faster and in my opinion this is a bit more accurate because it is going to actually be straight up and down. You're going to be looking straight down at the very center point, basically the center of your whole screen. You're viewing screen is going to be where you end up clicking this camera line so you can see it moves there and jumps to that point so cool but what, well okay what are we doing with this well I want to end up rendering this and so I I want to actually pan around my building or something like that and create an animation but I don't I want to always maintain this camera angle that I have which I'm going to have to end up using this camera align to like a flat surface quite a lot and so maybe I can start with this roof over here and I can move around and, and and to animate that and pan around okay well at, that seems pretty simple so what can we do at this point uh, maybe we want to adjust the camera maybe we want to rotate things maybe something like that well you can see if i click anywhere this is not actually changing my rotation so what can we do about that well what going back to the beginning of the video when i was just thinking about manually doing this and manually getting to this location i was simply right clicking and like moving you know looking around but I want to say if I the second I start moving around and like looking up I've j I've lost my alignment of course so we can click on that and we can get it back but what I want to point out is if I were to drag up I can of course look up but the point is that if we look down we can then start to rotate because what we're going to end up doing is because we can't like flip uh, it's gonna be hard to show this but like literally flip upside down with the camera it's gonna like stop at some point 
it ends up stopping straight up and down. And so you know you're looking directly straight down if you receive some resistance from the camera. And it's going to be hard to display this, but I'm going to try and show you. So whenever I look up and I move down, I'm going to just stop moving and I hit that actual resistance down there. So boom, boom, I'm, I'm hitting the point where that camera won't move anymore. But the cool thing about that is, you know, yes, I know I'm looking straight down now, but maybe I want to rotate. Maybe I want to do something else like that. Well, I can, instead of dragging up, I can drag down and then start to drag down to the left or to the right and get a different rotation. So I have the same rotation, but I'm able to or I have the same camera alignment, but I can change the rotation. And so I'm still looking exactly straight down because I'm hitting that resistance with the camera. Really kind of nuanced stuff, but it's not a huge deal. So if I come back to camera aligning, you'll notice it does flip around. So for some something that I've noticed is, and I, I really can't explain this. If you can, please leave me a comment because I'm, I'm not fully sure what does this. But depending on the, the object that I click, and I think like the rotation of the object or something, it ends up changing the rotation in which I end up at, you know? Like you can see as I click on other things, specifically like this roof, it flips me around, and then, then that roof flips me around. I don't know, it might just be that it's not just panning, but it's also moving this to the center and then ends up flipping. Again, I don't know, this is kind of weird, but something that I found that you can try and test it out, like I thought it was, I thought it would be like something completely accurate, but it isn't. So I'm going to place a box here, and we're going to place the box, and I'm going to use the box again to align the top. So if I do this, we could just we could see I'm just going to move across this box. So then my my thought was, okay, well let's see what happens when I rotate it. Well, I'll just rotate it like you know 20 degrees, and then if I realign, mm, that didn't do much. Okay, so let's let's do it again, and what let's see what happens whenever I rotate like 45 degrees and then I try and realign well not much there but if I just do this like freely just move it at whatever distance and then I align again you'll notice no matter where I end up clicking how much I rotate or anything I don't get any difference in my camera alignment as far as the rotation goes so it tells me kind of that it's really based on the element the type of element something like that because I don't know. If I place another one over here and I rotate this one and I jump from this one to that one, I you could see that it's in this exact same place like as far as rotation of the camera goes. Um, but if I get a different object, maybe, I don't know. Let's try this circle. It might be a good way to test that out. I don't know. Let's go ahead and put it right there. I can align this. And again, you see it rotates, which I I find it kind of interesting. So let's rotate it there again. I'll realign and I, this one seems to be working how I would have thought. I can keep rotating this a little bit, and then I keep rotating a little bit with the camera. So maybe we end up just using this object instead. You know, we've got this circle, and we can use this to align to. It could be where it's placed in in twin motion compared to other objects, compared to the origin. I don't know. You can see that as I moved it closer to these these squares, when I rotate. I don't actually get it to move, it, so it literally could just be the location of the object. If I move the square over there in a line, nothing. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> this is uh, something that we're going to have to kind of figure out on our own, but nonetheless, we are able to rotate. Like I said, if we just simply align to the top, we're able to just rotate by pulling down or, pull, or pulling down and left or down and right on the mouse and we're still locked into that straight down view. So really at this point, we have the alignment that we need, and so all I need to do is simply build the animation. So I am gonna end up building that animation now, but I don't wanna waste your time with that. If you are curious on how to create an animation, do anything like that, I do have another video, so look for that in the card right now. But what I wanna do is go ahead and make that animation, and I'll just throw it at the end of this video. So stick around for that, it'll happen in just a second.
So that was a fun little animation. You know, I hope you did learn something from this video because, you know, we were able to align straight up and down. Yeah, it's just still in perspective, but we were able to get that nice panning animation, you know, looking straight down, you know, however you want to pan across the site. Cool. I like it. You know, we could have cut down with the cutting block. We could have done all kinds of stuff. I mean, could have done, used the clipping plane if we wanted to deal with those black lines. I don't want to necessarily, but you could have just exported to twin motion with everything cut. So you could have that rendered that way. So there's a ton of the ways that you can use it, but I like it a lot. If you did and you happen to learn something, please let me know by demolishing that like button. It really helps. All right. Yeah, that'll do it for this video. Have a wonderful day. Hope to see you in the next one. See ya.